Thank you for joining me on this tutorial again and today we're gonna I'm gonna show you a more technical part of what we're doing so this is one side that I have already done with colored pencils as requested um, I hope you like it um, also we are gonna do the bubbles I'm gonna show you how to do the bubbles how I do the bubbles next time okay so for this part I I've chosen a, a source of light yeah which is not right in the middle because of the of course of, because of this so we have to avoid it so I moved it slightly to the left so this is the middle this is where the lights coming from right from here so what we need to do is imagine that all the light beams converge to that source of light so the the good way to to do that is to use use your pencils and do and position them in a way that they all converge to that source light and I'm gonna do four beams on this side Right, so we need, I'm going to use four pencils here, it's a bit tricky this part, but also fun. It doesn't have to be exactly in the same place as the other side, but I'm going to try as best as I can. Anyway, once I have my pencils laid down like that, I need my lighter pencil to just mark where the light, the light beam is going to be. So this is going to be one, and then the other one we use the lighter pencil because of course it's easier than to get rid of it okay and oops difficult to show here and here right so I have I have my lines defined and then what we do is with the ruler I measure like one centimeter no what did I do half centimeter each beam okay so I then we can erase this because of course the pencil is wider than half a centimeter Anyway, then you, with your ruler or which, with whatever is easier for you, you can use a, a credit card, a, 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 an old credit card, of course, <laughs> to help you. Yeah. So you just trace the light beams like that. Okay. I'm gonna erase that line like I said and you keep doing that um, this light beam is going to be it's going to come down here so we need to carry on tracing it down Remember to give it half a centimeter width so I mark all the lines here 
and do it again. All right, so this is one part of what I wanted to show you today. Another part is I've chosen my color palette, right? So we have seven colors grading from the darkest to the aqua green. So if you're not using the same set as I am, you can um, choose from your set of pencils seven shades of well six shades of blue and one light green if you want to do it like that but you can always use your own colors of course but you have to make sure that it's it the gradients is right going from the darkest to the lightest to achieve the effect that we wanted also uh, this as I always say this is an option one of the options to do this page but you can always um, because I was asked to do this but it would have been my choice anyway because I like the look of it but you can use other colors if you want you can have another idea and then on my next video I'm gonna show you how we do the the coloring bit this is our last part of my tutorial and before we start I'd just like to say that I cannot claim the credit for this uh, idea of course there are many people who have done it and I'm just I just thought that would be it would be a nice way of completing the page so I've already done the beams but I'm gonna do this one to show you how to do first of all you have to fill the whole bottom of the page with your darkest color and more or less two fingers wide yeah and then what I do because I want to give the the side a little deeper a little uh, depth I'm I'm gonna use this plate to draw like a um, round border to the page and this is where it's going to be dark as well can go to our next darkest color and just carry on coloring I'm not gonna bother with the um, beam right now because this is the end of it it doesn't reach the very bottom of the page and you can always do like a faint end to it right now we're gonna move on to the next darkest color which is 53 
Right. Now, what I like to do also is to know exactly how, because we have four colors left, I like to do the the bit that's at the beginning of the page. So, because then we have a better notion of the <coughs> um, area we have to cover with each color. So I'll go very lightly here at the top. And then we can move on to the lightest blue. You can use it here because the fish is in the middle. about those lines because I'm gonna then I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them okay so our next color so I know I have two colors left so I have to space out this area with the two pencils Okay, so now I have a better notion of my area and I've noticed here I could have gone a bit darker so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so when you're doing this you always stop, have a look see if the effect is there uh, and what I'm gonna show you now is how to achieve this effect so if you have the, your Prismacolor pencil or the coin or white pencil I just like the Prismacolor because it's more waxy like I said to you before so for example I wanna show in this area for example you can see that the colors are gonna mix and <clears throat> and the effect's gonna be even nicer and so you have to do this in all areas of the beans color work with your white pencil all over it I think I give you, gave you an, uh, the idea of what I wanted to do and uh, I'm sorry because I'm doing this a little bit in a rush because I haven't got much time left here in England. I'm going to Brazil next week and in Brazil my parents demand a lot of my attention. <laughs> 
But anyway, going back here to our page, after you've done, you've worked with your white pencil, then you look again, see what you could have, you might do to improve it. And then what I do, I often add some shadows and what's good is because since we have used the white pencil the shadowing becomes easier to do Well, you can embellish your page the way you want. What I've done also, like here, I've added a dark green shade to my area. You can add, for example, here you can add a little bit of shine. the white to make it even more uh, even lighter and you can add any colors I've added purple here um, I've added on the other page also I've added some purple areas black at the bottom to make it even deeper so what you have to do is to look at your page and decide where you want to improve. Okay. I always also do this shading underneath the fish because it gives it more depth. Yeah, it's difficult because it's already we've used autocolor. Let me do this one. Right, I, w I want to show you how, uh, if you do the fish, don't forget to do all of them, of course, right? You, you have to use the shadow in all of them. I forgot this time. Anyway, I was going to show you how I do my bubbles. Um, I've got this from a company called see-through and this is a see-through ruler and it's got all sizes of circles which is very handy 
So if you can get one of these, what I do, I use them with a um, white pen, draw a circle, yeah, and then I'm gonna color inside the bubble with the darkest blue, just on one side. With the pen, I add a line and some dots. really like this one but anyway let's go back and then you just get rid of one side of it and the good thing about using the uh, white pen it's because if you don't like it <coughs> you can always scrape it off even with your fingernail, they, yeah, it comes off. And what I've also done, I've used my uh, white paint to color the bubbles, the, the tiny little bubbles. You just go, if you haven't got, oops, too much. Oops. If you haven't got paint, you can use your, your white pen. But what I don't like about the pen is that sometimes after it's, it looks nice when you do it, but then when you, know, you go back to the page and the pen has somehow absorbed the background color, so it, they, your bubbles won't look white, they will look blue. Anyway, and don't forget to for the eyes of, of the fish, don't forget to um, either color them or use the black, the white pen to to make them stand out. What else? Well, I think that's all, and if you have any questions, any doubts, please don't don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always available, and you can talk to me anytime, or leave me a message, and I'll happily answer your questions or doubts. I hope you have enjoyed the, the tutorial, and don't forget also to show me... Oh! I forgot something very important. Sorry. Once you've done your, once you've finished your beams, use your rubber to do like I did here. You see, you don't want just one beam to, like that. So you can come with your rubber. and do like that you you want the light to uh, 
Oops. You want other beams as well. And if you're not happy, you can always come back and like I'm not happy with this one, so I can come back and make it. thinner. hope you have enjoyed the tutorial again <laughs> thank you very much for watching and happy coloring bye